The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey Native Crude every single week. Lady Data user power of engineering to help you. Yes, you find the things you want on digikey.com. Lady Data, what is the great search of the week this week? Okay. This week's great search is a part that did not survive the great chip shortage of 21 22. Uh, it's the uh, TCS 34725. So um, let's go to the computer and I'll show that we used to stock this part. Um, this was our color sensor. I really, really like this sensor. So it's a six pin chip it required three volts but it had interrupt output and it had red green blue and clear color sensing ir cut i squared c interface uh it was fairly easy to use um and it like looked really cool it had this like very beautiful uh sensor with like interleaved red green blue and clear um sensors so um we used it in a ton 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 of projects um pretty much anything that had color sensing we used it we made a flora version but sadly, um, this chip did not, again, like I said, survive the great chip shortage. It is discontinued. Um, and I even was going to make a STEM IQT version. And it's like, just as I was designing it, the chip got uh, discontinued, was no longer available. So sad. Um, so here it is. It came in two families, uh, the 34725 and 34, uh, 34727. Both are discontinued. And... I really like having a color sensor. I think it's a, a great way for people to, you, know, you can detect what color Lego block is, or if you're doing like Rubik's Cube stuff, or um, just pick up colors from around the world and like you integrate into your project. We had an umbrella that you touched it to something and it would turn the umbrella the color that you touch it. So you could touch it to like a yellow cab here in New York and it would turn yellow or a red fire hydrant it would turn red or green tree it would turn green. A very cool project. Um, we might actually remake that project again because it's it was so old and some of those parts aren't available like this one but i would like to have another color sensor so let's check out what digikey has for color sensors so um because i don't know at all what the land of color sensors looks like right now i'm just going to click on the whole category um so there's only 84 parts and remember everything including obsolete components you know are are there so what i'm going to do is first Select only the active stuff, and you see there's really not that many color sensors available, which I think is interesting. I think there was like a trend to have color sensors for phones and TVs so they could do like ambient color sensing. And I think like whatever happened that got changed and like it doesn't get used as much anymore. Um, so looking at some of these, some of these are like they're a light sensor, but it only takes like one color. Like this only connect clicks detects green it's got like a green coating this one detects red this one detects blue so these are analog they're just like a diode that's like tinted so it only senses that color um i'm assuming let's see let's actually look at the data sheet yeah it's just anode and cathode so it's just a, it's just a diode i don't want that i want something with um i squared c you can have uart too but I, I you know i'd like something as close as possible to that tcs Okay, we have a couple options here. Not a ton, though. Like I said, you know, 16 options. Uh, some of these look like they're not even really stocked. So let's just say normally stocking and uh, not marketplace because there's like a module or two I don't want. Okay, so 11 options. So some of these are, like, there's two kinds of light sensors because I've actually made breakouts for some of these. So, like, the AS7341 is very cool. You'll notice it's like, whoa, it's like 10 bucks. Why is it 10 bucks? It's a multi-spectral sensor. It actually has, like, nine different diodes, not just red, green, blue. I want something that's a price comparative to the TCS. And that was, like, a buck or two per piece. So I'd like to get something similar in pricing. Um, so sorting by price there's a couple good options so one is um the Vemel 6040 so the Vemel 6040 has a couple things going for it it has red green blue and w which is a like clear like white light um but it doesn't have an interrupt pin which i don't like i prefer to have an interrupt pin and there's no address select pin either and that was one of the things that uh, the tcs did have and was quite nice you could change the address from like OX29 to OX39, I think. And it had one address select. So that's okay, but not amazing. Vemel 3228, um, similar. It's got clear red, green, blue, and IR. So it's got, you know, a couple uh, 
light elements in there. That's nice, but um, which I prefer that it has at least four, but it doesn't have, again, um, address select, and it doesn't have um, interrupt output. Um, so I looked around. There's this one, which was kind of funky. Um, so this one... This one looks pretty good. Uh, it has red, green, blue, clear, and IR, and interrupt, and SCL. Uh, it doesn't have an address select, but it does have interrupt, which is kind of cool. And it has the the clear and IR. Um, one's on 3.3 .3 volts, and it's from Everlight. I'll say I've had, like, fair good luck with Everlight, and it's, it's fairly inexpensive. It's under a dollar. And then... Um, this one, I looked at this one and I just like, saw the package and I was like, oh, I don't want to deal with that. Like that package looks way too too small and complicated. It's like chip scale. The BH, uh, so the AS72652 is another expensive one. It's like a spectral sensor. I don't need something this nice. And then there's just the AS7341. Um, so one thing that I do like about the VAML3328 and the BH1749, which is another one, is that there's like a lot in stock and the price is fairly good. It's like again under two dollars. So this one, I ended up going with this one. You know, this is my pick, although I, I might change because um it didn't have clear, but it did have IR, so that's kind of good. So you can do IR detection, M detection, and it had an address select. And I really like an address select in the interrupt. That for me is kind of like key. And I think it makes it worth it that it doesn't have just a generic um, ambient clear light input. Because honestly, most people, re you know, you might have a separate light sensor just for clear. And, you know, maybe you can like sum the red, green, and blue, and that will get you like basically white light anyways. So this was my pick. Nothing was really exactly the same, but I really liked the stock numbers. The pricing was good, and I liked the interrupt pin and the address pin. And for me, since there wasn't every, something that had everything, this was the closest. So this is my pick for the great search. That was a great search. Where in the world is